kacele nyog yo a ka maroko en gen kwa kacel ci gugor kacel ci en gang dak ko o ye ka en kwa kar bi ro ban ka en dak ka ci ko ni kwa ro bi ro ko ci ko ye ye ka de kan ta ro ka ro bua yu ya bua du ko la ro ka ro ci ro ko yo mo ci ro bua ro lum kwa ni bi ki je ro ci ni ya ci ko ni ci ni ko ci ni ki nyim du ko ni ko ni ci en wa ni do ne an ko ku ya when you talk about women when you talk about children and orphans those vulnerable people we try to make sure that we explain to the communities the rights they have legally uh, widows are more vulnerable uh, because of the cultural norms and practices that people still hold on to but usually legally they have ownership and control over the land evelyn's case uh we are working with the local partner who is LP society looks at men eh, as the heads of families so when these men pass on the women even become more vulnerable so the in-laws potential grabbers influencing people people of reputation in the society ends up squeezing these women Evelyn she is not legally married but Evelyn has children who has rights over this land Mama de kere e eni Mpe pe ni pe wai te nan ka nga do kor kor gi re anu e wa kor na anu tung chel ka nga ba la ya ka mo ka mo mi ati mi chal anu en anti na ona i dago a ci argangar ba ko do le lo kala lo ci ko bi ro bi ro ni ko ci ko mi na tam ni a ci ba ci ar ki lo e ni gangal be ne e ron we yo be ro ko ro be ko kar na do tu bi da na ci wa na we be ni be da ka no ni ko ni fe be da we be e ro ji ma e bo ro ko ni ma we ko ci ar Ara, 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 Ara,
The grave would always want to fight. They know I'm elite, I have the money, he's a vulnerable people, and it's worse if, if it's women. The solution to it is to make sure that uh, it is mediated. That is using the alternative dispute resolution because she is a vulnerable woman and she needs to make sure that with the support of LP and, and, and working in hand with the different stakeholders like the clan leaders, the, the local leaders, she can be in position to secure her land rights. As people come back home after cessation of hostility, the elders who should have been there to guide people on the customary practices in relation to land all died. The new generations remain with vague memories. They are lost between what was in the past and what is new. So people got lost in memories of relating the truth and what is not truth. So that, that creates a lot of confusion. In the time we've been working on land rights, we've helped people to demarcate their land, also plant boundary trees because those are the locally available materials that we ensure that communities have and also making sure that the, the land is mapped so they draw a local map just on paper and the documents, like different copies, like the house has the copies, then they send another copy to the, maybe to their local council leader. So we ensure that at least someone has a document concerning the land, because some people still think that no one can take my land. We try to tell them, yes, you, you know your boundary, but then you do not know if your children or your children's children will be knowing those boundaries. 
So if it is documented and mapped clearly, at least you save the future of your children and your children's children.